Let's get to our top story of the day. Boeing shares moving to the upside of just about 3.5% in pre-market trading after announcing a major leadership shakeup. The Playmaker CEO Dave Calhoun will be stepping down from the helm at the end of the year. Boeing's chairman of the board, Larry Kellner, also announced that his decision not to stand for re-election at the company's annual meeting in May. Yahoo Finance's Pras Supermanian, who has been following the Boeing story from the beginning, joining us now here on set. Impressed at least by the first look of it, shares moving to the upside. It seems like shareholders are encouraged by this news. Yeah, I, I hate to say, but we were sort of waiting for this news to happen for some time. I think there was some writing on the wall that Calhoun couldn't survive the, the Alaska Airlines max blowout. It was just the latest it was too, too, so much of a high profile kind of safety issue that it was just a concern over. Has Boeing actually gotten past its, its quality control, its safety issues, its production quality issues? And I think that this move was sort of maybe orchestrated by maybe potentially bigger shareholders. The board probably lost confidence. The board, I mean, Larry Kellner also, you mentioned, stepping down there too. He was on the board since for over a decade, the chair since 2019. So he's been through it all there. And I think he also was sort of kind of combined, kind of joined with Calhoun as, as sort of the two b biggest guys to sort of come down here. I also want to note that Stan Deal, the head of commercial airlines division, he, he's also stepping down. And Stephanie Pope, who uh, was head, I think, of Boeing Global Services, will step in for the commercial airlines uh, head position there. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, the Max line has now taken out two CEOs, previously Dennis Muhlenberg and, and now Dave Calhoun. What do we know about the leadership that they're going to be seeking now for this role? And, and perhaps the, the type of person that's fit for Boeing and to really turn things around there. Yeah, you know, Calhoun uh, leaving, he's a, also an insider there at Boeing, so maybe the, the thought is to get someone from outside the company. I'm not sure about that, but I think the, the two biggest things that I, that I see from like a succession point of view are um, the person who steps in, do they have the, the sort of uh, background of turning things around, the, the ability to, 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 have that, to have that kind of uh, street cred uh, from an industrial point of view, and then also, are they going to be given a carte blanche to do whatever they need to do? To Which could write have major ramifications yeah, for yeah, the stock yeah. and are, investors as well. Exactly. Are they going to be able to not only weather the storm of potential you know, downdrafts of the stock, but also uh, the money that needs to be invested to change things that Boeing, maybe reacquire Spirit, Spirit Air System, as was, what was once said, and try to get that all that under the same uh, sort of garage or under the same roof to make sure that the planes are back to where Boeing used to be. I think that's the main concern there. Under the same hangar. Yes. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right. Well, Boeing shares, at least for today, moving to the upside, recouping some of the losses that we've seen since the start of the year, just some, a long ways to go as we talk about that recovery story. Right, Pross, thanks so much.